Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I got Super Crossfire as part of the Indie Royale New Year's Bundle. Super Crossfire comes to us from Radian Games, which is just one guy, Luke Schneider, and he makes some very interesting looking games. He builds this as a retro modern arcade shooter, and you'll kind of know exactly what that means uh, when you see the game in action. Uh, taking a quick look around the game, things to unlock, always good. Achievements, of course we need those, wouldn't want to make a game without them. Uh, option screen is so, somewhat bare bones, but there is a launcher where you set up all your um, all your resolution options and your, def, your high def graphics and all that stuff, so no knock against it there, but the in-game graphics are a little bit uh, iffy. Uh, turning off V-Sync actually crashed the game, so uh, I'm not going to mess with that. <laughs> Leave it in its off position. All right, well, nothing more to say. Let's get into this game, and like I said, you will immediately recognize exactly what this game is all about. I'm gonna start in chapter one, and uh, what the hell, we're a hot shot. Chapter one. We got lucky in a way. We saw them coming before they wanted us to, and we prepared for the worst. The worst. All right. Oh yeah. That's right, guys. It is Space Invaders, or a interesting take on Space Invaders. So it's going to have some abilities, and it's going to introduce you to those one by one. The first one is Warp. You use Warp to bounce through enemies and shots, and uh, you'll want to collect gems along the way, uh, bouncing back and forth between the top and bottom of the screen. And that is indeed the unique mechanic of this game. You can do that right there. You can also get hit if you're just doing it uh, willy-nilly. <laughs> So let's not do that. Let's concentrate. Let's actually try to win the damn game. So you collect these uh, collect these little gems that, uh, that fall from enemies that are killed. And those gems are going to power up your super shot. And I believe we're due for a tutorial describing just that. There it is. So uh, once we have the enough gems to charge up our super shot meter, we can unleash a super shot like that right there. Yes, indeed. So, uh, if if you are, in fact, uh, in any way averse to color, <laughs> this game is probably not going to be your cup of tea. Uh, it is a very colorful game. It has some uh, fun mechanics. Uh, the gameplay is solid and tight. Features upgrades. You know, so there's a lot of depth here. It's, it's a really, really, uh, really interesting game. We've got three upgrade points. Uh, let's just drop that into... Let's see... Let's say one into spread and two into speed for now. Whoa, okay, here we go. Starting things off. Now, you're going to get a decent amount of enemy variety, uh, which is really, really nice in a game of this type. And uh, this is one of the enemies that I like. They have shields. You have to destroy the shield generator. Once you destroy the shield generator, the enemies are just super easy. And uh, as you might imagine, they do continue to perfect this uh, gameplay as you move through the game. And again, I'm trying to collect the uh, trying to collect the stars, or excuse me, the uh, the gems, to make sure that I am ooh, spaceship, 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 uh, to make sure that I'm charging my super meter. Oh, there's a power up we can grab. Got a little bit of a shield there, so we'll take advantage of that. Very nice. Uh, the gameplay, as you might be able to tell, is extremely fast and uh, it's extremely satisfying. You know, the controls are nice. Uh, everything plays just like you would expect it to be. It's responsive. Uh, default um, default functionality with a, a 360 gamepad. Uh, absolutely no problems getting into this game and playing it. Uh, the bouncing back and forth mechanic becomes second nature uh, as you play, and, and you really start to feel comfortable uh, with the mechanic. And, and it really it really defines this game, and it really makes it more than just a simple uh, a simple knockoff, if you will, uh, of get that ship. All right, uh, just a simple Space Invaders knockoff. It's really really nice, and uh, I really do enjoy it quite a bit. So let's see, ship speed, uh, shot power. Yeah, let's increase our shot power. I like that. All right, here we go. Power up there to start things off. Uh, a little bit vague of, uh, as what most of the power-ups do, uh, but, you know, that'll come with time. So these guys, uh, the yellow guys, are shielded, 
in one direction, so you have to hit them from the opposite uh, direction, which is a nice little mechanic. And uh, the, the enemies are thoughtfully designed, I, I would say. Um, and, and overall, I mean, this game is is stellar. The colors are fantastic, and and I can't I can't say enough positive things about about this title. Ooh, that guy wanted me dead. A little pause action there, like that. Slow down time. Grab all our power ups. Feeling good about ourselves. Yes. And that's nice. The power up actually continued into the next zone. I like that quite a bit. Kill some of these guys, kill some of these guys, finishing off the level, collecting, collecting, collecting. Might as well use a special ooh, super shot. Actually, accidentally used two there. That was not intentional. And I haven't quite figured that out. Sometimes when you warp from one side to the other, uh, enemies will respawn. Uh, I do not know what exactly triggers that, but uh, it's a bit of a mystery. All right, die. There we go, wave 15. Uh, over 150 waves to complete, apparently. Uh, wowzers. Uh, the game is, uh, it's not super difficult for anyone who is somewhat skilled in these sorts of shooters. Uh, if you are familiar uh, with dual stick, or not even dual stick, just, just arcade shooters, uh, you're gonna feel right at home and you're not gonna have any issues uh, playing this game. Ooh, I took a hit. Uh, you see under my ship, well, you can't see it right now because we're in here. I think I'm going to let these points ride so that I can afford some of these more expensive power-ups. So yeah, we'll let those ride. Uh, underneath my ship, you can see there are three little uh, boxes. Those boxes represent my armor, or my shields, I suppose you could call them. And that's how many times I can get hit. So uh, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot more to say about this game. It's, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> um, it, it is simple. It is, uh, it is not uh, redefining life as I know it, or what it means to be a gamer, uh, but I'm having a fun time. Uh, there's a smile on my face, and, and really, honestly, uh, how can you ask for much more than that uh, when you're playing a game, you know? Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't think we really need to... And I have died. And that'll be a good place for us to end. I don't think we need to spend too much more time with Super Crossfire. You see what it has to offer. It's a wonderful game. Radiant Games. I think it normally retails for about five bucks. He has a lot of other games that are available on Desura. Uh, Ballistic is one that comes to mind. Uh, they're all super colorful. Great graphic style. The music, if I can shut up for a moment and let you hear a little bit of that as we go out, uh, out of the video. Wonderful. Love it. Uh, the game, it's, it's a charmer. It is a charming game. It is modest. Uh, it is not going to redefine any of your uh, preconceived notions about gaming, but it should put a smile on your face if you have a pulse. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. This has been Super Crossfire from Radiant Games, and uh, I'm going to let you guys listen to some of the pumping, sweet musical tunes on your way out. Here we go.